It's Wired Wednesday. The last day of October saw Apple reveal some updated products. The Beatles get a little help from AI, and a pair of social media platforms are allowing its users to opt out of ads. And joining us to break it all down is Abrar Alhidi, video host and producer at CNET. Welcome, Abrar. So good to see you this morning. So let's start off with Apple's latest announcements, a new iMac, MacBooks, and some new processors to go along with them. So what's the standout there for you? Yeah, really, you know, what they're always going to tout with this, we've got the M3 chip, the M3 Pro, and then the M3 Max. What they're always going to talk about is faster speeds, longer battery life, some brighter displays in some of the computers like the MacBook Pros. And the really cool thing here is also we get a fun new color. So the MacBook Pro comes in the standard silver color, but now it also comes in this new space black color, which really, really leans into that spooky Halloween vibe that they were going for. Um, so that's pretty fun. And the, the really cool thing to note here too is that the iMac still comes at the same starting price. Uh, and the MacBook Pros also have a lower tier price if you want to get the, you know, the less advanced chip as well. Well, as we turn to the music world, the Beatles have a new song. It hasn't happened for over 50 years since they broke up. So how did they do it? Yeah, well, it's weird. It's 2023 and here we are talking about a new Beatles song. But basically there was a, uh, a track that John Lennon had recorded back before he died and this just kind of sat and, and uh, Yoko Ono had passed it on to the uh, remaining Beatles. But the problem was his vocals were kind of drowned out by background noises. And with AI, what they've been able to do is separate those vocals from all those background sounds, lend their own voices. And now we have this track that's coming out. Uh, it'll be tomorrow, actually. So keep an eye out for that. That is fascinating. Well, ads are all over social media, but now Facebook and Instagram, they're offering a new option to get rid of them. So can you tell us how this works? Yeah, so essentially what this is, is a, it's a way for people to pay to not see ads. And that might sound like a weird concept, but there are, you know, like YouTube has the same option in the US where you can pay to get ad free, but this is just for the uh, European Union. So people in the European Union can pay about $10 a month um, to get ad free experiences on Facebook and Instagram. And this is really a way to kind of, um, you know, the European Union has been pushing back on personalized ads because it collects your personal data and kind of sends you more targeted advertising. All right, we'll be interested to see how many people decide to do that. Thank you so much, Abrar. Enjoy the rest of your morning. Thank you for having me.